Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a shoulder opening yoga class for you. So this is gonna be a wonderful little class to do if you suffer with any pain in your shoulders or in your upper back or if, or if you just suffer with tightness in that area. We will be using a strap for a couple of our poses. You don't need to have a yoga strap though. You can improvise with a band, um, an exercise band, maybe the tie of a dressing gown, an actual tie, a jumper, anything that you can basically hold lengthways and take it up and over your head. So grab your strap, grab your mat and we will go and get started. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to stay updated. I post out three new yoga classes every week. Okay, my lovelies, so we're gonna start our class seated in a comfortable position. If you can, sitting in thunderbolt pose, you can always pop a cushion underneath or sit onto a block to take any pressure off the front of the ankles. Um, but of course, you can sit cross-legged if you prefer. We are gonna start by grabbing our strap. And if you have a D-ring on the end of your strap, just make sure you're holding it in your hand so you don't whack yourself on the head with it, which I have done before. And we just want to play around with the strap and make sure that we can take it all the way up and around in one movement without bending into the elbows. You want to be able to feel a nice stretch for the shoulders. You don't want this to be too easy, but you also really don't want to be struggling. So just get into that right position. And then we're gonna start by using the breath. So having the strap in front, drawing all the way up on an inhale, and you're just gonna hold at the top, put a little bit of tension on the strap, so almost like you're trying to pull the strap out of each hand. So you should be feeling a stretch here already through the shoulders, maybe through the biceps. And then on your exhale, just slowly draw all the way down, keeping nice straight elbows. And we're gonna keep that flowing with the breath. So inhale, draws the strap up and overhead. Little pause. And exhale all the way down. And we're gonna keep that moving. Inhale up. Pause, a little bit of tension on the strap. And exhale all the way down. Inhale up. And exhale down. We're just going to do that three more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, last one, kind of, exhale. We're gonna go back up one more time, but we're gonna hold it. So inhale, draw the strap up and overhead. And this time as you exhale, you're gonna bend into your elbows and you're keeping tension on the strap as you draw your shoulder blades all the way down the back. See if you can get the strap to touch the top of the shoulders and then inhale, press all the way up. And we're gonna do that a few more times. Exhale, draw that strap down. Inhale, back up. We're just warming up the shoulders, really. Exhale, down. Keep the core nice and strong as you do this, so try not to arch into the lower back. Inhale. We'll just do one more for fun. Exhale. Inhale all the way up. Little pause at the top, nice and straight through the arms, really drawing the strap out of the hands, so a little bit of tension. If you want, take a little side stretch, so exhale, a little lean over towards the right. Still stay nice and straight through the arms. Inhale back to center. And exhale over to the left. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale, slowly bring the strap down. And just getting rid of it for now. We are going to use it again. We're going to turn sideways onto our mat, if you're not already. 
and we're gonna keep our hips stacked over our knees and we're gonna take it into a half puppy pose. So right forearm is gonna come across the mat. Left arm is gonna extend straight and then you're either gonna rest your forehead onto your right forearm or you're gonna drop your forehead to the mat just behind that right forearm. And we're only gonna take a few breaths here, we're just warming up so we can go nice and deep into our full puppy pose. You just want to relax the chest, stay nice and straight through the arm. Let the body grow nice and heavy with every exhale. Slowly drawing your left hand in. Both hands come underneath the shoulders and then to release, we're just gonna round the spine. So as you exhale, draw the chin to the chest and just tip the tailbone underneath. And then come into neutral spine and we're switching sides. So left forearm comes across. Right arm extends, stay nice and straight through your right elbow. Forehead rests either to the left forearm or it rests just behind. Same thing, just relaxing into this pose as much as you can. And slowly drawing your right hand back in. Exhaling to round through the spine. And then from here, finding our full puppy pose. So both arms extend. Try and stay as straight as you can through both elbows. And then you can either rest your forehead down. Or if you're feeling quite open through the shoulders, lift your forehead up and just draw the chin and the chest down. Same thing, you're just relaxing into your exhale, allowing your chest and your upper body to melt in towards the mat. So you have an option here to stay with the arms extended. Or see how it feels to come to your elbows. Draw the palms together and then let your forehead either hover or rest to the mat. It might give you a deeper stretch into your shoulders. See if you can keep the palms overhead or maybe play around with dropping the thumbs down towards the nape of the neck. I always find I get the best stretch right into the top of the shoulder with the palms overhead. I'm going to take a few more breaths here before we release. And slowly coming all the way down onto our front. So we're going to try and find a deeper stretch for the front of the shoulder. So we're going to do our broken wing pose. So I always find you get the best stretch when you have your arm at 90 degrees. So we're going to bring our right arm up first. Right shoulder in line with the right elbow. Or right elbow in line with the right shoulder. 
Turning to the right side of the head, the left hand comes underneath the left shoulder. Left leg comes all the way up and over the right leg, so we're rolling onto the right side of our body. Gently pressing our weight into the right shoulder. And you can play around with the right fingertips, sometimes walking them a little further up can give you a deeper stretch into the shoulder and into the chest. Just pause here for a few breaths, maybe leaning into the stretch a little further, deepening this pose as you exhale out. Just find one more breath here, breathing into that right shoulder. And then slowly come back to center. And we're just gonna switch sides. So left arm out to the side, left elbow in line with the left shoulder. Right hand underneath the right shoulder and right leg comes all the way up turning you in towards your left side. Have a little play around with those left fingers, walk them up a little bit higher if you need to. Try and find that same stretch on this side. Connect the body as you stay here. So really focus on what's going on in that shoulder or in the chest. Just find one more deep breath here. And slowly come back to center. Gently pressing yourself back up to your tabletop position. And then we're gonna be grabbing our strap. And we're gonna be taking it behind our back. So same thing, if you have the metal end, just make sure you're holding it in your hands. For this one, I would suggest having your arms about hip width apart. But you can have a little play around and find what feels best. Keep the thumbs facing in towards each other. And then we're gonna bring ourselves onto the crown of our head. So doing this nice and slowly, you might want to stop with the forehead down first and then draw the arms up. If that is enough and if you can find a stretch here, Maybe you just pause with the forehead down and the arms lifting. But if you can, we're gonna to lift to the crown of the head. So you might want to open your knees up for balance and then really let the arms draw over the body. And this should be giving you a nice stretch into your shoulders. Play around with the width of the strap. You don't want it too wide because we don't want the arms to actually go all the way over. We want them to just be sort of hanging there. We're going to pause, take some nice deep breaths into the shoulders.
Just take one more deep breath and maybe deepen the stretch slightly. And slowly, on your exhale, roll all the way back to seated. Well done, just get rid of the strap. Give the arms a little shake out and then take a moment. As always, we will just close our practice by bringing the palms together at the heart center. Thanking yourself for taking this little bit of time out, dedicating it to the physical body, especially the shoulders, and also to the mind. And then bow the head to the heart. Namaste.